Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 672 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Coinbase has announced a proposed private offering of $1.5 billion of senior notes. MicroStrategy has made another Bitcoin purchase and Hive has given an update on its Canadian expansion as well as a ticker symbol change. But just before we get into the show today, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, to please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, as well as many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Coinbase, which trades on the NASDAQ as COIN, has announced the proposal of a private offering of $1.5 billion of its senior notes due 2028 and 2031. According to the press release, the interest rate, redemption provisions, and other terms of each series of notes will be determined by negotiations between Coinbase and the initial purchasers. The aim of this offering is to boost the company's balance sheet, and proceeds are intended for general corporate purposes, which may include continued investments in product development, as well as potential investments in or acquisitions of other companies, products, or technologies that Coinbase may identify in the future. End quote. MicroStrategy Incorporated, which trades on the NASDAQ as MSTR, has announced another Bitcoin purchase today, this time reporting in a Form 8K filing the buying of approximately 8,957 Bitcoins total for about $419.9 million in cash in its Q3 of this year. CEO Michael Saylor tweeted that the company purchased an additional 5,050 Bitcoins for $242.9 million thereabouts, and that as of yesterday, MicroStrategy held a total of about 114,042 Bitcoins. Now, this total of 8,957 reported in today's Form 8K filing comprises the 5,050 Sailor refers to, as well as a purchase of 3,907 Bitcoins earlier in the quarter. Hive Blockchain Technologies Limited, which trades on the NASDAQ as HVBT, has provided an update on its data center construction in New Brunswick, Canada, as well as an upcoming change to its ticker symbol. Regarding the former, the press release reads, quote, Construction is in full throttle with our Canadian expansion, which will enable Hive to deploy an additional 20 megawatts of green and clean Bitcoin mining before the end of calendar 2021, with an additional 20 megawatts on schedule to come online within first quarter of calendar 2022. We expect this expansion to add over 900 petahash per second to our Bitcoin production, and enable Hive to hodl more virgin coins. End quote. Hive also announced that effective tomorrow, that's Tuesday, September the 14th, 2021, its ticker will be changing from HVBT to HIVE, or Hive, on the NASDAQ's Capital Markets Exchange. The company's executive chairman, Frank Holmes, comments, quote, I am thrilled that we will make it much easier for Hive blockchain technology investors and traders in both Canada and the U.S. to have only one ticker. We are very thankful to NASDAQ in assisting us with acquiring the original symbol HIVE that relates to our name. This is important in branding and positioning our name in the minds and hearts of investors and traders as the first crypto mining company and only mining with green energy. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. 
Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available. 